Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can export OneNote content as a file to share with others. Let's have a look at this one. So I've kind of stumbled across this one. I've been looking for a way to do this for quite a while. And then either it's recently happened or I just haven't been aware of it one or the other, but either way, I'm pretty happy. So I'm going to share it with you. So here is my standard um, Windows 10 version of OneNote. And let's say here is an activity that I have set up. Now, what I ideally want to do here is that I want to share this with someone else. And what we're commonly used to doing is possibly asking someone to add us to their OneNote, and then we can just do a really nice quick copy and paste. Okay, we might um, export that as a PDF and they kind of create it themselves, but I've never actually found a way to give it to them as a file. So you can just go, here's a copy of it, place it in your own without having to worry about permissions. So what we do is we create it first. So there it is, it's done. And then what we want to do is we actually want to open up the older version to like the 26 first, 2016. And I notice on mine, it just comes up as OneNote. Um, and then you've got OneNote for Windows 10. So we're just going to open up OneNote and there it is. It's the 2016 looking version. So here we are, we're in one of my test notebooks. And if I just look over a little bit of a different structure here, but I'm clicking over there on the right hand side there is the same activity. So in this version of OneNote, we actually have the ability to go file and then export. And then from here, we can export it here as a dot one. So as an actual OneNote file. Now I can export just that page. So we can see here the page. If I've created a whole section of work, I could export the entire section. Or if I want, I can also do the entire notebook. So from here, I uh, make sure that's selected. Obviously, you know, just to diverge for a second, you see that there are other options here as well, which are pretty handy. Otherwise, I'm going to hit export. It's going to ask me, where do you want that saved? I'm just going to click save here and we're done. Now, what I'm going to do next is go to where that is saved. And there it is as a file, this guy here. So it'll just take whatever you've titled it as and save it as a dot one. From here, I can, it's, it's, that's a file, I can put it on a USB, I can send it via OneDrive, I can put it in an email, whatever it is that I need to do. And once that other person has a copy of that, they can double click on it. And then what we will notice will happen is that it will start to load. Now, for me, it's, you know, it's already started loading. We can see at the top here that it's just making those sync changes but it's actually just popped it here at my top level notebook is, which in my organization is already designed for us. So here it's just popped it here. And then all I would need to do, for instance, if this was an activity I wanted to share with my class, I would copy that and pop it here into my English class. All right guys, I hope you find that super helpful and we will see you again soon. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.